أكثر نكيرا إن أحسنتم أحسنتم لأنفسكم وإن أسأتم فلها فإذا جاء وعد الآخرة يسوء وجوهكم وليدخلوا المسجد كما دخلوه أول مرة وليتكروا ما علوا تكبيرا صدق الله العلي العظيم are not here against any particular group, uh, definitely not against the Jews. As you can see, there are probably more Jews on our side than on the other side. And these are the Jews that represent Judaism, not the hate mongers that are on the other side. So again, uh, we need you guys to ignore and focus on our uh, particular uh, protest here. Ignore them. They can do exactly what their brethren in the settlements are doing. And uh, they will try to bully you, they will try to provoke you. But again, I request you to focus on our uh, program and continue to stay with this program. I would also like to thank and ask everybody to cooperate with the law enforcement officers here, both from the Legislative Assembly of Ontario as well as the Toronto Police Force. Uh, this is our assembly, this is our city, this is our police force, and we need to cooperate with them to maintain order. So please uh, comply with the instructions and make sure that you're cooperating with them fully. If you find that anybody is provoking you, anybody is uh, trying to have a confrontation, please raise that to one of the people wearing the yellow jackets and we will talk to the police to get that removed. But again, please do not engage in any shouting matches or any uh, conversations with them. There is no point of having a conversation with them. So don't waste your time there. And again, Israel! Shame, shame, Israel! Shame, shame, Israel! is going to give us some instructions and again we're going to start walking in a legal peaceful manner cooperating with all the law enforcement as well as the people wearing the yellow jackets free, free Palestine. <laughs> brothers and sisters please line up we will be heading south we want you to please follow our marshals instructions do not get out of the line you should follow our marshals and go in an organized manner and do not care for any provocations from these troublemakers. We have held our rally very peacefully and we will continue to do so in the future as well. So please follow our marshals very, very carefully.
march across, uh, we will raise slogans but without the microphone. And then once we pass the hospital, then we will uh, open the microphone again. Stay on the right hand side of the road. Please do not cross and do not go on the walkway. Stay on the right hand side of the road. And please continue to cooperate with our law enforcement officers of the Commander Police Force. They are here to uphold our rights to free speech and we are going to cooperate with them. So please follow the instructions. Follow the instructions of the people in the yellow jerseys and stay on the right hand side. This is for your own safety. And again, we must cooperate with the people who are here to protect our rights. These are our police officers. Please follow the instructions. Again, you can raise the slogan without the microphone. It's okay to raise it. It's a, it's a, it's a highway and they can have this thing, but we don't raise it on the microphone. So you're welcome to raise it without the microphone.
Palestine. And again, I thank all the people who are here, uh, Muslims, Christian, Jews, and for belonging to our Sikh faith, every other faith that is here to uh, represent uh, the Palestinian plight. Again, we are, I would request you to stay here for another 10 minutes and then we're going to uh, uh, dismantle this uh, rally in an organized manner. I would ask you to go in groups again because we still see some uh, hugs and flags of the Zionist uh, terrorist state around. So again, I would ask you to stay with the main rally right now and then we'll go back in groups. So let's raise the slogans here. Again, do we have our entire group here? I think we do. So let's make sure that the main supporter of terror in the world, the United States of America, who is also the main terror supporter for the state of Israel, the Zionist state can hear us. So please repeat after me. sure that they and the people who this video will go to in Palestine can see that we are not intimidated and afraid of the Zionist power and their powerful backer. We will raise our hands in support of the Palestinian people who have been brutally uh, suffering for the last 60 years plus. So again, please raise your hand. This is the last five minutes. Let's make sure we complete our reason for coming here. Raise the hand, raise the voice with me. Shame, shame you! You know, these Zionist thugs thought that they can intimidate us by their threats of violence. Well, these are the cowards because they indulge in violence. They do not belong to Canada because they do not respect Canadian values. But you deserve honor because you refused to respond to their intimidating tactics, you refused to respond to their threats, you refused to be intimidated by them, you came out and you gave voice to the voiceless Palestinian people. Yeah. And what a great day today. Look at that. We have brothers and sisters from all communities, from different faiths. We have in fact our Jewish friends, our Christian friends, friends from the Sikh community, from other communities, they are all present over here with us for the sake of truth and justice for the Palestinian people. Of 
16 trillion dollars. That is their external debt. They also have an internal debt of 38 trillion dollars. American economists say that it is impossible for the United States government to dig itself out of that hole. So America is destined to the dustbin of history. And when America goes, Israel goes because, because Israel, Zionist Israel is dependent on America. So if America can't feed its own people, how is it going to feed the Israeli people? You know what's happening inside Israel? Since July to the present time, five elderly Israelis have committed suicide because of poverty. Yeah. The latest happened last week. An 80-year-old grandmother set herself on fire because of poverty in that Zionist state of Israel. Yeah. We as Muslims express our sympathies with these oppressed Israelis as well because they are human beings but we want to tell that Zionist regime that its oppression is finally eating away its own body and that Israel is going to implode from within because it is a deeply divided society it cannot last forever because oppression cannot last forever. So brothers and sisters, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart that you came out in the month of Ramadan. It is our last day of fasting. And tomorrow, inshallah, we will all celebrate Eid. And I think you can go back and you can be proud. In fact, you can celebrate Eid with honor and with dignity and with the heads raised high because you stood for truth and justice. to express my special thanks to the two rabbis that joined us all the way from Montreal to be with us in this rally. Brothers and sisters, this is what truth and justice does. It brings people together of all faiths and we welcome all the Jewish people that are willing to stand with us for truth and justice. say this, let me say this to this right-wing fascist media in this country that keep on accusing us of being hate mongers or being anti-Semitic. Let me say this publicly. If there is any Jewish person in Canada, male or female, who is persecuted because of his or her faith, I pledge to you that I will come and stand beside you and defend your rights. But I know that this right-wing media will not report this. They will distort our message. But we tell you that your lies will not last very long. Truth will catch up and truth will liberate everybody. So brothers and sisters, once again, thank you very much. May God bless you. You really made history today. And I hope and pray that you will continue to stand up for truth and justice. Because when you stand up for truth and justice, you not only strengthen your own cause, but you liberate other people as well. In fact, in fact, this wave of freedom that is now spreading across the Muslim world, very soon is going to engulf a number of countries. And then we would not have to come and demonstrate here because once the Muslim countries are free, they will make sure that these tyrants that are ruling our countries are driven from power and they will take care of our oppressed brothers and sisters in Palestine. So we pray for that day, that Allah will hasten that day, that we are all truly free. Because as Muslims, we do not believe in oppressing anybody. We want to live in peace and harmony with everybody, provided there is justice and peace. And if there is no justice for the Palestinian people, there is going to be no peace in the occupied territories. So brothers and sisters, once again, thank you very much for coming out. May God bless you. And as Brother Adil announced, do not disperse yet. 
as soon as your transportation arrives or you are going back to Queen's Park, then you make sure that you go in groups because we don't want any of these thugs to intimidate anybody. We want to make sure that you get back safely. It is our responsibility and we will make sure that everybody is taken care of properly. So please, in fact, the brothers and sisters that came from the Islamic Society of York Region, please come and gather here. Our buses would be arriving in a few minutes. And I want to thank our brothers and sisters from the Islamic Society because we brought three buses and so many dozens of cars that came out to join this rally. So the brothers and sisters from Islamic Society of York Region, please come and gather at this end. As soon as our buses arrive, inshallah, we will get on our buses and the others will take care of their own transportation according to instructions that Brother Adil will going to give. Okay. Okay. I want you to, with your bottom of your heart and with your all your energy, Listen to my this uh, slogan and you have to answer me. You have to answer to the call of the oppressed people of the world. So say it with me. Zionism is racism. Zionism is racism. The oppressor, the oppressed people the, and the oppressor didn't hear you. Zionism is racism. Zionism is racism. Your both hands all together. Zionism is racism. Zionism is racism. Down with Zionism. Down with Zionism. Their supporter is we are in front of their supporter who are giving billions of dollars for military aid. The bullets who are going to the chest of the Palestinian kids. Down, down, USA. Down, down, USA. Say it again. Down, down, USA. Down, down, USA. And Israel, of course. Down, down, Israel. Down, down, Israel. Down, down, Israel. Down, down, Israel. Free, free. The people of Gaza, what are they going through? You can you imagine? Free, free Gaza! Free, free Gaza! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much for coming. All faith are welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have a round of applause for everybody.